Next thing we've got on the GPS training podcast is a look at Garmin GPS watches, the options and differences. And we've got a special guest, we've got Tom on from Garmin, so welcome Tom. Hello. And uh, Tom is going to go through the different options. The reason for this is we've got a number of different options from Garmin. We've got now the Garmin Instinct range and then we've got the Phoenix range, but it's not quite as simple as there's lots of different options. So I thought that we can bring Tom on the podcast and we can go over the different pricing, the different options and the different materials, I suppose, that the, yeah. those of these watches are, uh, are made out of. So we're going to look at watches uh, from £269 right up to £750, aren't we? Yeah. So, Tom, um, if you are on watching us Facebook, you'll be able to see us hold it up. If not, we'll just have to describe what we're seeing. So, starter point from Garmin is the Garmin Instinct watch, isn't yep. it, Tom? We discussed this on the last month's podcast because, you know, Andy was oh, in love with his Garmin Instinct Absolutely. watch and he still is. So, Garmin Instinct, can you tell us a little bit about them and then we'll move on? Yeah, so the Garmin Instinct is our entry-level multi-sport watch um, designed for outdoors and fitness-based activities. So within here, you've got uh, all your usual smart notifications that Garmin offer, text, email, phone call, um, you've got your activity tracking, but you've also got the suite of fitness um, features. So run, bike, trail run, walking, skiing, snowboarding, yoga, yeah. they're all in there. <laughs> um, and then you've got the navigation stuff as well. So it'll give you a good reference. You can follow a route, you can track back. The way you came a course tom is it not a course in a watch that's course. it so it's a route on an outdoor and a handheld unit but yeah. you call it a course on a gpr i suppose um uh, actual physical watch wise it's um not quite the same premium materials that you'll get on a phoenix uh, but you've still got the heart rate sensor on the um back of the watch to get your constant heart rate brilliant so with these watches tom then what we can do is we can just create a gpx file so in garmin base can't we just create a gpx file and just yep. transfer it onto your watches and it would just navigate as like a, a outdoor gps unit absolutely too. so it'll give you that arrow distance to each point um, right. between the points you can create that gpx file both base camp and um, or you can do it on garmin connect right um or any of the other yep. mapping suites that you may have and it works with the garmin explore app as well okay so you can download the topo mapping there for europe mm -hmm. and use that on your ipad now or phone to plan okay. the course and wirelessly send it to your fantastic and then these the so the the this entry level the instinct black and white screens yeah black and white screen um which is obviously the other difference between this and a and a phoenix model um, the black and white screens, though, I think are quite clear. Yeah. Um, so great in the sunlight as well, because you yeah. don't have that differences of colour, so it does really stand out. And no maps on these ones? No maps on these ones. No. Okay. So we're talking about the... Uh, also, it measures your daily activities and steps you've taken, heart rate, yeah. sleep. Yeah, so tracks your sleep throughout the day. Yeah. yeah um, floors climbed. Right. Um, all throughout the day, and it'll give you a stress score as well. A stress score, that's exactly yeah, what we want. Absolutely. And that will just sync with the Connect app on yeah. your smartphone. Yeah, all your data appears on there. Over there. Brilliant. So Instinct, two hundred sixty nine ninety nine, available in two colours, which is the graphite and also the flame red. And we had a bit of a joke because Tom came in today and said you can't believe how well the the uh, flame red is selling. It's kind of we, we yeah, thought absolutely. we'd sell a lot more graphite, but the flame red's been doing very yeah. very well, both for ourselves and also for Garland. So we then we jump into the Phoenix range of GPS units, uh, Phoenix Five Plus. And then the 5S Plus, isn't it? So this yeah. is now, we're jumping up to £595, so a reasonable increase from the uh, Instinct. 595 for the 5 Plus yeah. and the 5S. So what's the main difference is jumping initially from the Instinct and then the difference between those two models? Yeah, so um, physical hardware-wise, uh, um, this one's made out of the premium materials. So you've got the metal bezel yeah. um, on the top and the stainless steel back. Yeah. Um, you've also got the fact that the watch straps on the phoenix range are all interchangeable right so you can swap them for different colors easily okay um or different types you know you've got leather metal all sorts of different yeah. uh, watch straps available and um, so that's your physical hardware uh, differences mm -hmm. and when it comes to internals on the navigation side you've now got mapping on okay. both of these watches and that's the topo map active mapping, active mapping for uh, western europe brilliant and um, so on this one now it will show you your location on the map yeah and it'll auto guide you to a location on right. the paths or bridleways okay. or roads. Brilliant. Um, on the fitness side of things, you have our top end uh, training features. So it'll give you things like recovery advisor after you've done a run. Yeah. It'll give you a VO2 score, so more top end training features. And then other features wise, you've also got Garmin Music on these now. So yeah. they'll pair with Spotify or Deezer. 
and you can stream and store music on the watch and stream it to a set of Bluetooth headphones. And podcasts as well. Podcasts as well, absolutely. You get the GPS training podcast straight <laughs> on there. Then you say Bluetooth headset or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And you listen, you don't need your phone then, nope. do you? Because nope. it's all there on that one. You 5S and the 5, what's the difference there? So the, the only plus? difference is the size. Okay. Um, so the 5S is slightly smaller. You can see the difference there. Um, and the only trade-off for that is battery life. Okay. So you go down from 12 days to seven days on a watch and 19 hours to 11 hours uh, in performance right. in, in GPS mode. Uh, so a bit different. Uh, Very good. There. So we've been selling a lot of those because they five nine five. It's it's like that nice. Um, it's not too expensive, but you get all the features that we've seen in the Phoenix, and that's progressed over the years into yeah. into the market leader, really, hasn't it? Absolutely. So we then jump to something called Sapphire. So we jump up to the Phoenix Five Plus Sapphire, don't we? So yeah. What's the Sapphire? Um, so a Sapphire is a upgraded upgraded glass screen. Okay. Um, on the watch, so the screen itself is a sapphire glass screen much tougher okay um so it's um better for if you're using it a lot on a daily basis right okay so more premium materials premium material on that sapphire yeah. um and then anything else the difference or is it just built just purely um yeah so we jump from 595 to 694 solely for that sapphire yeah. screen don't we and my favourite is the uh, the Phoenix Plus Sapphire with a titanium sole flare orange, isn't we? Yeah, so this one is now a titanium back and ring on the front. Okay. So uh, slightly different material in the metal. You've also come with the um, solar flare strap Brilliant. Um, to stand this product out. Um, so yeah. flare's bright orange for people who yeah, can't, they can't see, see on the podcast. On, it's, a, it's bright orange strap and it is a cracking GP. It looks, yeah, it looks superb, really good, doesn't it, really? Yeah. And then finally, we jump right up to the Phoenix 5 Plus Sapphire, the black and black plus. So this is a 5X rather than a 5, isn't it? Yeah, so the X means it's an ever so slightly bigger watch body. Okay. And you've gone up from 47 millimetres to 51 millimetres. Right. And um, for all that, you get better battery life. Okay. Uh, so you now go up to 33 hours fully running with GPS and about 20 days as a, in the watch mode. Brilliant. Um, in the smart watch mode. Um, and the other feature difference is we've put on there something called Pulse Ox, okay. which can monitor your blood oxygen saturation okay. from the wrist. Wow. Um, and from that, it can tell you how well you're performing when at altitude and how well you're acclimatised. So that is all about acclimatisation. Brilliant. So that's really for your mountaineers. Mountaineers, isn't it? yeah, expedition led. Or people who want that extended battery yeah. life. I was just going to say, that we've sold quite a few of them and the people are buying it because of that extended battery yeah. life. So there we are. So they so we'll start from the top and then we'll work back down. So we one Tom was just discussing the uh, Garmin Phoenix 5X plus Sapphire. And that's a black and a black band on it. And that's the one that to measure your oxygen levels and also has that improved yeah. battery life. We've got then got the one slightly below it. It's the same price, still seven hundred forty four ninety nine. We've got the uh, Phoenix Five Plus Sapphire with a titanium sole flare orange. So that's got the uh, different um, body to it, isn't it? Yeah. That titanium, um, and and it's got a sapphire screen. The one below it is the Phoenix Five Plus, which is a uh, sapphire. So again, that's got the um, it's got the it's yeah with the um, uh, sapphire screen on it again, yeah. which is the the better quality screen. And then we go down to the uh, Phoenix 5S uh, Plus and also the i5S Plus, uh, so 5S Plus, which is the one, um, which is the, the, the standard one really, yeah. isn't it? And then uh, down at the bottom is the Garmin Instinct and that comes in at 269.99. It says it's more of a, people can't see us, it's a bit more of a rubbery uh, feel and, and, and yeah. to it. And a smaller watch altogether. I know when Andy, when we reviewed it, actually, he actually tr uh, swapped his Phoenix and went down, um, yeah. down. He, he, he decided he was an instinct because he felt it was just a smaller, more yeah, and lighter, lighter, as, well. lighter yeah. as well. So that's the Garmin range of watches. So thanks, Tom, for joining me on the podcast uh, and going through that. And, and again, if people want to know more about the watches, you just go to our website, which is gpstraining.co.uk, click on GPS store, then Garmin GPS watch on the left-hand side, and you can view all the watches we've been discussing in the podcast.